that i got this story courtesy of the guardian that i thought was pretty cool it says six day illegal rave sees five thousand people descend on a spanish village residents watch in amazement as tents caravans and seven stages were set up in the village center now i'm pretty sure there are some people i follow on instagram who kind of were there because i can i don't know the scene looks a bit familiar to me but let's continue with the story it says the music blared for days, thumping through dozens of speakers hastily erected up in the dusty fields. Against the backdrop of Spain's Sierra, Sierra Nevada mountains, um, thousands of revelers danced while others pursued um, stand selling homemade soap, piercings, the size of pieces. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I saw somebody there. I'm pretty sure I saw someone there. So let's play a bit of the clip here. This is from, where is this from? This is from RTV. <laughs> La fiesta acabará hasta que el cuerpo aguante, es lo que relatan algunos de los más de mil jóvenes que llevan de fiesta desde el viernes. Cuando diga la gente del coche. Vienen de todas partes de España. Yo soy de Mallorca. Desde Cádiz. Soy de Valencia. Y de Europa. Ah, Albania. Just bare white people, by the way. There's not one person that said they're from Angola, but... <laughs> En terreno municipal, a dos kilómetros en línea recta del pueblo granadino de La Peza, han montado este macroevento que incluye puestos de comida, tienda de ropa y hasta cinco escenarios con música electrónica. Está colapsado todo, hay miles de coches en los arcenes. La Guardia Civil no les desaloja por motivos de seguridad. Cerca de medio centenar de agentes controlan que no lleguen más vehículos, pero no prohíben la llegada a pie de nuevos asistentes. A pesar de la decena de multas por tráfico, tenencia de drogas o acampada ilegal que se han interpuesto, nada impide que la música de esta macrofiesta ilegal siga sonando más de 70 horas después. Anyway, let's continue the story. It says the legal rave began on Friday, choking um, of traffic and leaving pulsating beasts wafting throughout the nearby village. It was 24 hours a day of chin chin boom, says Fernando Alvarez, the mayor of the Mortis. <laughs> Chin chin boom, I love that. Residents watched in amazement as a maze of tents, caravans, and seven stages um, sp spouted up less than a mile away from the village center. An estimated 5,000 people, many of them Spaniards, but also hailing from Italy and the Netherlands, descended on the site. We are 1,200 people here. Imagine we woke up on Friday morning and we were 5,200 people here. By Saturday, we were 6,000. Truthfully, it was a bit chaotic. After six days of festivities, of festivities party goes began dismantling the tent stages on Wednesday morning. It was released at the mayor, and I'm super happy. Municipal officials, however, remain stumped as how the international event had managed to materialize on municipal lands without any warnings. We have no idea. Despite lacking a kind of permit or the license, the kinds of long days events have gone on. Like this for a few hitches. Frankly, it was magnificently organized at Alvarez. It was like a small town. They had a bakery, a pizzeria, clothing shops, people who would braid your hair, do absolutely everything. I'm amazed that they managed to set this all up in the span of a few hours. As the party got underway on Friday, the, most, the, the municipality sorry, was quick to lodge a complaint with the police. The police arrived swiftly, decided that it would be safer to keep watch over the fiesta rather than forcefully evict the thousands of revelers. Barricades were set up to block new vehicles from the site, while a helicopter kept an eye on the revelers made their way to the site by foot. The days of partying had been largely peaceful with just a handful of arrests for drugs or resisting authority, police said. Amid assurances that the party was set to end on Tuesday, the municipality kept watch on the sign that the party was dying down Despair, despair, sorry, despairing as the volume was cranked up after the hours that the party was meant to end. And the distance throbbing of the music sparked curiosity among some of the residents with young people and an eight-year-old villager opted to join the party. One resident welcomed the party goers and sources managed Spanish media who turned up the village injecting a bit of cash into the local economy. They said we got six days of entertainment out of it, uh, but we also recognize the incident has given us a bit of publicity and put us on the map and we're here for anyone who wants to visit, but maybe not 5,000 people all at once. But the one thing that I want to make sure to kind of emphasize here, this party went out without a hitch largely no arrest from what i've been able to read they cleaned up the entire space that they were using like came in there like absolute ninjas so this is what raves can do out there in the open right if people actually leave people alone and give them the space to kind of enjoy themselves treat them like actual adults people can actually gather in on mass have a good time and just go home as they did and obviously inject some cash into a local flipping community but another thing that i also want to point out is that 
this is another reminder to me of just how different people do outside living because a lot of it as well you have to imagine it's in spain it's not here in the uk you know spaniards in general um having known some of them in my life are just generally they're just more you know attuned and adept at kind of doing outside fun stuff they just know how to do it more maybe because you come from a sunnier climate so you have to stay outdoors more often or whatnot but they just know how to kind of navigate outside better they know where to hang where to chill i'm sure most of you guys if you know spanish people or you know italian people or french people the same thing they just have a real good way of navigating around these sort of things so it's never too much never too little it's always done in a sort of kind of the right way because i feel like in the uk for whatever reason maybe because we have bad actors but we generally have people there's always a couple of them in groups who just let the moment get to them and they kind of get lost in the source um, they don't really have any self-control and if anything they end up ruining the fun for everybody because all it takes is a couple of people from each group so each group if you have if, if each group in the uk has at least one to two liabilities all it takes is a group it's a room full of friends to have a room full of liabilities and suddenly your pile will descend into chaos and then suddenly you know next day you're hearing about a club that you went to license has been revoked and you have no opportunity to kind of go back to that sort of space so a lot of it has to do maybe like a cultural thing where these guys just get it they understand how to navigate you know spaces how to navigate fields how to navigate clubs how to you know participate and have fun together and not make it go too crazy because i feel like this could never and i repeat never happen in the uk about a hitch something awful would have happened and also like the fact that the police did what they did they came down therefore hey there's too many people here to try and disperse them all at once we might just keep them keep you know keep away and obviously what they did they probably set up a cordon like they said no no new people are allowed in but we're gonna just like keep them you know keep watch on them make sure everything's going all right and then when they end on tuesday we were to kind of escort them off the fields and make sure no one's kind of coming back but they dealt with it perfectly and i absolutely love that and that's something that's definitely given me a little kind of smile kind of reading that story of just how amazing it went and how kind of well received it was by most of the locals because they kind of brought something extra to that kind of small community so yeah big up everybody that descended in that party and had a good time it looked complete fun it looked like complete fun to 